Hey YouTube, this is Techmaster2133 here again today, and uh, it's kind of late at night, and we're going to do a video on how to replace a hard drive in the Asus K55N laptop. Um, the 750 gig Hitachi drive that is in mine has failed. Um, it will still format, but uh, it runs very slowly, and I can start to hear the inevitable click of death. Um, it has a lot of um, recovered sectors, reallocated sectors. Um, I tried using the spin right utility to mark them off or show me how bad the disk is and it doesn't get past about 3% before it stops. Um, it doesn't go any further or it takes hours for it to progress. So, we'll be replacing the 750 gig Hitachi drive with a 500 gig Western Digital Blue um, series drive because I'm kind of a Western Digital fanboy. Um, out of all of the hard drive series I've had, I've never had the Western Digital fail. As a matter of fact, the Optiplex GX150 over there still has the original 40 gig Western Digital drive and it hasn't failed and that computer was built in 2000 or 2001. So, yes, okay, we have the 500 gig Western Digital, Western Digital Drive that I've ordered off eBay. It took it about a week to get here. Uh, you're going to need a very small, well, not necessarily small, but um, small tip screwdriver. And, of course, your very authentic Windows 7 64-bit installation disk. So let's get started here. Um, first things first, we have to get the hard drive out of all the packaging, which I'm going to have to set down the camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we've gotten the hard drive out of the packaging and it is now ready to go. Here it is the Western Digital 500 gig Scorpio Blue Series, 5400 RPM model. Wish it was a 7200, but eh. Okay, so first things first. What you want to do is remove the battery. And on the Asus K55N, you have a tab here and a tab here. You just pull this one back, like I've already done, and then you pull this one back. And I'm going to have to sit down the camera for this because this tab is spring loaded, so you have to use two hands. So let me do that real quick. Pull the tab back and the battery slides out. This is the standard 6 cell lithium ion that comes with the K55N. I'm using my desktop, well one of my desktop monitors as a light because the lighting in this room sucks. Okay, the next thing you'll have to do is remove this cover here. There's a screw here and a screw here. You have to take a quite small tipped screwdriver and unscrew those like so and sometimes they might not want to come very easily but they will come eventually. And this one here And if I can get the cover off without actually physically having to pull those screws all the way out, because usually I have to tip the laptop over to get them out. So we're going to see if we can avoid that, which I probably can't. So okay, let me set down the camera real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the screws out. Uh, make sure to catch those and put them someplace where you're not going to lose them, because finding them if you drop them on the carpet or replacing them can be a bit of a pain in the rear. So next thing you want to do is take this cover and just gently pull back and it'll slide off and that's what it looks like on the inside. So you want to set that up here. Now if you haven't seen any of the previous videos this cover gives you access to the hard drive, the Wi-Fi card, and the RAM. Um, I wanted to put a 128 gig SSD in this laptop to speed it up a bit because well it 
this hard drive when it worked um, was terribly slow when it came to loading large files so I was going to upgrade it to an SSD <coughs> sorry about that but uh, I need more capacity rather than speed so this 5400 RPM drive won't be much faster than this one but at least it'll work um, anyway so what do you want to do now is there's four screws one here one here one here and one here you want to remove those as carefully as possible make sure they don't fall into the laptop because once again finding them can be a bit of a pain in the arse and set those off to the side uh, for future reference I am pretty dissatisfied that this 750 gig drive already failed um, this laptop is just turning over a year old just a little bit over a year old maybe a month um, and the drive has failed and of course the laptop is just out of its one year warranty period so that was awesome but I managed to get this 500 gig Western Digital Drive for 45 bucks no 39 bucks on eBay and it's brand new hasn't been used before so not too much money out of pocket but keep that in mind if you own one of these that the Hitachi drive in this laptop seems like it fails pretty early on okay that's the fourth screw now you have a little tab here that pops up all you do is you take it you hold and you slide outwards this way and then you just pull up and the drive comes out like so this is the Hitachi uh, 750 gig, 3 gig uh, three gigs a second drive. So it's not, I mean, I guess for the money, this was a $449 laptop, so it wasn't a bad drive. And I did get a lot of use out of mine. Um, I used it for frapsing and everything else, so that's probably what killed it. So anyway, let's get to removing the drive from the caddy, which I'm going to move this thing out of the way here and I probably won't film that part just because this camera is pretty annoying when it comes to doing that but on the caddy there's two screws on both sides you just remove those and the drive will come out of the caddy without issues so let me do that and I'll be right back okay so we have the Western Digital Drive back in its caddy and now all we have to do is reinstall it so what you want to do is flip the drive upside down and set it like so gently back into position and then take this tab and you just want to line it up as best you can with one hand if you're using a camera come on Ah, there we go and push inwards and it will slide back into the SATA connector and then all that is left to do is re-screw or replace the four screws that hold in the drive so we will do that now a little bit more difficult to do when you only have one hand though so oh, shoot okay I have to put down the camera now because I managed to Oh no, I didn't. Cool, it's still there. Now I did. Damn it. One second, guys. Alrighty, guys, we got all the screws back in. And uh, try not to do like I did and drop one on your shag carpet floor and then spend about 20 minutes looking for it because that is not a fun time. So try to make sure you're working on your laptop over wood floors or on a big table where you have room to drop things uh, makes life a lot easier but now that we have the drive back in all we have to do is take our cover that we removed earlier and 
slide that back on. Somebody's having a sneezing fit in the other room. So once we have that slid back on, all you have to do is take your two screws and drop one in there and one in right here. And they both went in the way they were supposed to, thankfully. And then you just screw them down. Don't go He-Man, just get them snug because it's plastic and brass and they're very easy to strip out. And this is going down a lot. Ah, there it goes. Now it's starting to tighten. I think that's all the way down. Should be at least. And do the one over here. What? Never actually. Come on. It's right in there. Go down like you're supposed to. Or not. Hmm. Okay. One second, guys. Again. Alrighty, guys. Sorry about that. Don't know what that screw's problem was, but it threaded in fine now. So, let's go ahead and put the battery back in. Make sure you lock the clip so it's nice and in place. Move the screwdriver out of the way. Flip it back over. And go ahead and plug it in. Should see the charging light come on. Open up the lid here and let's power it up. Don't hear any bad noises, so that's a good thing. And get into the BIOS. And see. If it recognizes, oops, damn it, the hard drive. And it does, recognizes the Western Digital 500. So cool, cool, cool. Now there's gonna be nothing on this, so now what we need to do is insert our Windows 7 install disk and get started with that. So do that now. Yes, this is a burned copy Windows 7, but I do have a legitimate license key. Alright, and once we have the Windows 7 operating install or operating system installed. I'll get back to you guys. Alrighty, guys. So the new hard drive is in. Windows 7 is installed. All of my applications are installed. It's up to date. So let's fire it up and see how it goes. This is another 5400 RPM drive, so don't expect the speediest of startups. But it is a bit faster than that Hitachi drive was. As you can see, I have my applications installed, my Steam, my Fraps, and a couple of my games, including a series I'll be doing on YouTube uh, in the near future, the new Alien Isolation 
So I'll be doing some fropsing of that, um, hopefully in the next week or so. Let everything get loaded up here. Hard drive is nice and silent. I don't hear anything from it. As you can see, the hard drive light is on solid though. After this gets loaded up and that hard drive light stops being on constantly, then uh, I'll show you the specs. Which you should be able to do now. It's running uh, Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit. Has 8 gigs of RAM with the AMD A84500M APU. Running at uh, a base clock of 1.9 gigahertz and a turbo clock of 2.8 gigahertz. Most of the time it runs around 2.3. Uh, to stay within thermal limits though. Um, it is a quad core and we'll show you the Windows Experience Index and it gets a 6.7 on the processor, 7.2 on the RAM, 6.7 on the graphics, 6.7 on the gaming graphics, and a 5.9 on the hard drive. And uh, this was a $449 laptop and honestly I cannot complain this thing has served me very well and the failure of one hard drive after a little over a year of very heavy use and also multiple multiple reformats of operating systems because I was always testing one or another um, I mean it did really well and I'm hoping that this 500 gig drive uh, stands the test of time and doesn't fail on me. It's Western Digital quality, so I don't think it will. But uh, that's it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right.